Hi everyone! Happy New Year! Even though we are like two weeks into this new year already. Also, I got the new camera, a vlog camera, so I can do some proper filming and also talk at the same time. And hopefully the audio will be a little better than on my iPhone. Also, my arm is already getting tired. Anyway, as you may have noticed, this week's video will be a studio vlog. I just have so much store prep to do and some bookkeeping, which I will not bore you with. And I know that studio vlog aren't my most popular kind of videos, but I hope you will enjoy it anyway. And regarding the store prep, I have some new merch that I'm gonna show you. So that is something that I'm gonna work on this week, prepping my merch. Let me give you a little sneak peek. If you're following me on Patreon, you have already seen these because I made a post just a few days after I received them because I was so excited about how they turned out. Look at this, we got acrylic keychains, we got wooden keychain. I also ordered some washi tape. I will show you all of these later. So these are some of the things that I will have to work on this week. Uh, like these acrylic charms, they actually comes with a little plastic cover that I will have to peel off from all the from all the keychains. Yeah, look at that. Look how shiny. I could just leave it as it is and let the buyer peel it off themselves, but I don't know, I just think it's nicer to send them off like pretty and shiny. And then I will pack them in these little organza bags. And for the pins, I have actually ordered some backing cards. So these are the backing cards that I will be ordering for my wooden and acrylic pins. And I just made something very simple and neutral that will fit all the different kinds of colors and pin types. And I will also be ordering a new print and this is actually made as a Patreon exclusive coloring page. I just colored the line art, put some white behind and this maroon burgundy um, background. Love it, it turned out so cute and colorful. I was a little unsure if I wanted the texture. I don't know if it shows up that well on camera, but there you can see it without the texture. And here's with the texture. I made a poll on Patreon and it seems like most people prefer the texture, so I think I'm just gonna go with that. It isn't that big of a difference, but it just adds a little extra, I think. Hey. Something else I will have to do is to clean up my workspace. Look how it is just a mess. I am actually a little tired today, so I am just gonna start by cleaning up my workspace because that is actually something that gives me a little extra energy. Not the cleaning itself, but once it's done. I know it just feels easier to start working on different things if my work area is nice. It isn't that bad, but still I will have to put away some things and organize. <gasps> Hello. There we go, a little more nice and tidy. Not perfect, but still better than before, I suppose. Oh, don't look at that mess. Ooh. Also, I finally took the time to hang my chakra crystals. Unfortunately, they're not real crystals, but they're still so pretty. I had to hang them pretty high so that Phoenix can't reach for them. I'm pretty sure he can reach them anyway, but, but hopefully he won't notice them. But now I can see them every time when I'm working. What are you doing? Wow. So welcome to my little warehouse. Um, warehouse where I keep all the shipping boxes and all other things that I need for shipping or packaging orders. We have a few folded boxes and all my jigsaw puzzles. So I've gone through everything and I decided I needed some more of these little um, envelopes that I shipped the 
stickers in. These are cardboard backed envelopes that I put the stickers in and then I put them in a bubble mailer. I could probably ship the stickers in these directly but I don't know, it just don't feel that safe. It, it feels a little thin even with the cardboard so I like to put them in something uh, a little extra just to keep them safe. So I will have to order some more of those. I think I will also need some more of those cellophane bags where I will put the pins in. Not my clay pins but the acrylic and wooden pins. I will also have to order more of these. I have them in three or four different sizes. This one I almost only use for bigger orders or when packaging prints and pins in the same box. This one is perfect for smaller orders but I think this one is the most used one so I will have to order some more of that one. Someone wants some soft cheese. <gasps> yum, 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 yum. Someone is going to the vet today and it's not you. It's you taking the yearly vaccine. No anti-vaxxers here. Time to look at the burbs. Life as an artist with a cat. So today I think I want to work on prepping some merch for my upcoming store update. I haven't really set a date for the update yet, but I think sometime by the end of January, maybe. And I'm aiming to have the shop open a little longer this time, maybe a month or so. Usually I close it again after one or two weeks or so, but it kind of depends on how fast all the things are selling. We will see what happens. Anyway, let's prep some merch. Also, thanks to people at BenQ for sending me this magnificent desk lamp. It is amazing. It also holds some of my minerals and crystals. Anyway, the merch. I have actually started prepping some on the keychains. I will show you these a little closer. Alright, so here we have all the things that I like to show you. Everything besides the stickers, the washi tape and the lanyards came in these little plastic bags. I've already removed the pins from the bag so that I could fit them into this little container. So all of these products are ordered at Vograis. We did a little collaboration. I've actually been looking for a washi tape manufacturer for a very very long time now so when they offered to collaborate I just thought it was a perfect opportunity to try out some of their other products as well. They offer a bunch of customizable products like stickers, acrylic charms, washi tape, notepads, tote bags, enamel pins. They are adding new things all the time and they are probably added even more since I ordered these stuff. But let me give you a closer look at what I've ordered. We have of course the washi tape. Look at that. And it came wrapped in this plastic to keep it protected. I have one open here that I can show you. <gasps> look at that that. And the thing with washi tape is that it's see-through so it will look a lot better on white paper or white background. The tape itself, it is a little more shiny than I expected it to be. Honestly, I don't have a lot of experience with washi tape but uh, I kind of imagine it to be more matte, I suppose, but I don't really mind. I think it looks really good anyway. And then I actually used the same design to make some lanyards or lanyards. I'm not really sure how to say that. I didn't even plan to do one of these, but I just thought, what the heck? I already have the design, so I might as well try it. This might be one of my favorite products. And it got these little lobster claps. And there are some different ways that you can customize this. But yeah, it looks really, really really good. I am so excited to add something different than just prints, pins and stickers to my shop. 
And speaking of stickers, they do offer a bunch of different types like glitter, holographic, gold, just regular, matte, transparent, I think. So I tried brushed gold and two holographic ones. I have to say, I love how these came out. Originally the stars are orange, but I made them transparent so that you can see the gold shining through. It looks so cool. Something I noticed though is that printing on this material makes the design a little more orange or brownish, I suppose, if you compare it to, this is very small, but you can see the original colors. I do think that dark or black designs would be the best on this material, but I still think it turns out really, really neat. And we have two holographic designs, Timons and my Lunar Cat. And these are both printed in solid colors on top of the holographic materials. And I tried to order a decent variety of different products in different materials that I could consider selling in my shop. We have some acrylic pins. I think the colors turned out a little brighter than the original. And I ordered some different sizes just to see how big they are. Now I have something to compare with for future orders. You can also choose the different pin backings. So I chose a rubber star, which I think looks really good. And for this one, I actually chose a pink rubber heart, but it came with black ones instead, but it looks cute anyway. I also ordered some wooden pins. I love these designs. And for these ones, I'm really happy that I got the colors of the rubber clutches that I ordered. I picked a blue one for the blue wolf and a purple one for the purple wolf and they do have different options of wood to pick from I have a wooden keychain with my little pumpkin friend design i think the colors turned out amazing on this one they are so vibrant and beautiful i picked a different wood type for this just to compare they also had this really cool rainbow effect uh, acrylic charm. You can choose if you would like one design on both sides or just one design on one side or two different designs on two sides. This is actually why I made this wolf design so that I could have one on each side. There are so many different options for the keychain part, but I thought something more simple would fit with this design. I also ordered this in regular clear acrylic. This one is a little bigger just to see the different sizes. And you can also see there is a slight difference in colors as well from the rainbow acrylic and the regular acrylic. And we also have the starry fox design. This one I chose with a shattered holographic effect. The holographic effect doesn't show up that well in this light. It looks really good, but it's only on one side of the charm. And I picked a moon keychain. I thought it was fitting with the stars. I could have gone with a star design as well, but I decided to put that on another charm. Here we have the star one, and this might be my favorite charm out of them all, bottled happiness. So one of the options when ordering these acrylic charms is that you can get them with or without epoxy coating only on one side though which gives it a more rounded look like the surface and the edges are a little rounded and it looks so good and I kind of regret that I didn't do that on more designs like on the pins for example I also went with a glitter option I don't know how well it shows up on camera though but there is a little bit of glitter in in the epoxy also it is the same design on the front and the back but I actually had to order this as two different designs because just in last minute I remember that on the back side the design would be mirrored. So that is something to keep in mind if you have a design with text on it and you want it double-sided make sure to mirror the text for the back side. So all the charms are in different sizes just so I could see how big they would be. I think these two might be a little too big I don't know but also you won't lose your key that easily when having these at 
attached to them. Also, since there are so much details, I wanted to have it a little bigger. I didn't order a bunch of each design. For this batch of orders, my idea was to just try out the different products and see what they look like and the different materials and all that and just see how it is to order from this kind of manufacturer. I have never done it before, but something that was super helpful is that there is a lot of blog posts and guides to be found over at Vogres's website, how to design certain products, what file formats to use, how to order, what to think about, and just a bunch of helpful stuff. So if you feel a little intimidated like I did, there is a lot of help to be found over at their website. Also, they have a website, which is a big plus in my book, because you could just go to Alibaba or some place like that and try to find a good manufacturer, like I tried to do with the washi tape, but there is just so so freaking many <laughs> to choose from. So I feel it's nice to have it all in one website with all the information that you need how to order. Also something else that I found very helpful and useful is that as I mentioned, this is kind of like a test order. I got a lot of different products just to see what they looked like and just to see how well they actually sell in my shop. So I didn't want to order too much of everything. So what is great is that the minimum order quantity is very, very low. On some of the products you can order from one to three pieces, which is great for smaller businesses or if you want to order it as a test like I did. Also, the more you order, the higher discount you will get on the product, which is great if you want to order bigger quantities. And as I said, I didn't order that much of each product, but I still got a pretty decent discount. Uh, is there something else? Yeah, also, I don't really have any preferences regarding the manufacturing time, but from placing the order to receiving them, it took a little more than a month, which I've heard is pretty fast. I also had to pay customs. That is something that you have to keep keep in mind when ordering from manufacturer located in China, for example, like Vogue But yeah, thank you so much Vogue for doing this collaboration. I am very happy with all of these products. Thank you. It looks a little scratched and not very pretty, but when removing the plastic cover, <gasps> look at that, so shiny. And I don't know if there is a good method how to remove this plastic, but I suppose I will find a good way. There we have it, without the protective plastic. Basically, I could just sell it like this in the bag with the protective plastic on and just add a note that you will have to remove the protective plastic when receiving it, but it doesn't look pretty. So this is how I will package the keychain. Because in these bags, I can leave the keychain outside because I don't want it to be inside with the keychain and risk to scratch the acrylic. Then for the wooden keychain, I don't really mind that the actual keychain is inside the bag because there is nothing on the back side anyway. So yeah, that will give me a little bit of work. However, in the future, if I order a larger quantity, we will see if I peel off all the protective plastic. We will just have to see how it works this time. Also, the acrylic charms with the, with the epoxy coating, they only have the protective plastic on the flat side, not the epoxy one. So if I ordered charms with a coating, I will only have to peel one side. And also, and for the pins, I don't have to peel them at all because there is only one side. But yeah, let's get to work, I suppose.
To save my fingernails when removing the protective plastic from the acrylic charms, I actually used this painting spatula. It got a rounded edge so it won't scratch the acrylic and I put some masking tape on it so that I won't hurt my fingers when holding it. So this is what I've done today. I put all the foxes in these bags and also almost all the rainbow wolf ones. I think the packaging turned out so cute and it also works really well that the keychain is poking out from the top of the bag. I did run out of organza bags though so I didn't pack all of these and I also didn't pack the wooden charms, the one with the cat and pumpkin. But fortunately I have ordered more organza bags so they should arrive tomorrow with uh, my other stuff so so then I can continue tomorrow. I also went through all the lanyards because I noticed that on some of them there are like this smudgy dirty stains on them. It is like ink. Some of them doesn't look that bad though so I might sell them as B or C grades. And I've also been trying out some different packaging options. Maybe something like this. However it is fabric. It isn't very fragile so I don't know if it is worth the work of putting them into individual bags. Um, we'll see, we'll see. So it might just be fine putting it directly into the shipping box. Yep, that is something that I will have to think about. Anyway, it's getting late, I'm a bit tired, so I'm just gonna go upstairs and relax in front of the TV. I will see you tomorrow. Good morning! Today I'm gonna continue doing store prep. I think I want to work on the freebie stickers. I need to print them and cut them out and also continue packaging the keychains. I have received more organza bags now so I can finish that up. I received all the packaging stuff today that I've ordered, the shipping boxes and organza bags and all that. And they were supposed to arrive between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. But they knocked on my door 8 o'clock this morning. A good thing that I'm always awake early. So I was awake, but I was still in my robe, so... But I have to say, better early than late. It's just good that I have arrived so I can continue the packaging. I also have some other packages, so I might as well do a little haul later. Some art supplies and a little treat for myself. Also, we took Phoenix to the vet yesterday for the yearly vaccine shot and checkup and everything was good. The even complimented on his whiskers. He got these curly mustache whiskers. He wasn't very happy to go in the car though. He sang a very beautiful song for us the whole way to the vet, which is about a 30 minute drive. Then unfortunately at the vet he got very stressed and he started hyperventilating and he continued doing that the whole way home but I put a towel over his carrier and I think that calmed him down. Then back home again he was just fine but he was so tired. This isn't very exciting really, it is just a lot of packaging stuff but so much tape. Ooh, bubble wrap. Ooh. No chewing on the plastic. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Leak. 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 Oh, yeah. Kiki took the. You just took the. You had it. Anyways, we got the shipping boxes. Got some new bags for the prints and I would rather not be using a lot of plastic for my packaging but I've been trying to find glassine bags, glossine bags that is like see-through paper, more cellophane bags. I will use these for my sticker sets. There should be more somewhere. Even more cellophane bags. This will be for my pins, the acrylic and wooden pins. My clay pins I like to put in a paper bag because they glazed with resin and it isn't really sticky but I don't want the plastic to stick to the resin. More organza bags for my keychains. The bigger bags for the bigger keychains. 
some white paper bags where I put the stickers in, some more paper bags. They should be the same as these ones, but gray. Um, I'm not exactly sure why I ordered these. But oh well, I will figure something out. It is always good to have some uh, paper bags that I can package things in, so that's good. That is all for that one. Have some cardboard envelopes for prints only orders. Then we have just one more shipping supply. Ooh, it is hard with the left hand. Cardboard envelopes for stickers only orders. So I put the stickers inside this cardboard envelope and then I put them in this bubble mailer. I just like to make it a little extra secure. Then we have the fun stuff, the art supplies. Oh, fancy, fancy. So I got a few things on winter sale, like my favorite brush pen with this kind of plastic nib. I love it. It is great for line work. Bristol board. This is a paper I always use for uh, marker art. I don't really use the A3 size a lot, but it is good to have. Also, when I ran out of the A4 one, I can just cut the A3 in half and I will get two A4, so uh, it is good to have just in case. Who wants a box? You're welcome. <laughs> yep, playing with trash. And pastels. These weren't on sale, but I just had to get some anyway. And I know I've said many times that I'm not a fan of pastels or charcoal or anything that anything that will get messy, but I really, really enjoyed working with a pan pastels when doing my uh, dog portrait. Let me show you. This one that I made with pan pastels and color pencils. Can you come in? Ah, come in. It's cold. Come, 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 come. But I've been thinking that I might want to um, experiment a bit more with pan pastels, making some more portraits, maybe do more animal portraits. Because I've had this idea for a long time that I should open up commissions again for pet portraits. I did that a long time ago and I really enjoyed it. So I thought that maybe I could open up a few commission spots again soon or later this year. And yeah, it really is a bunch of random colors, but just got these to complement the other colors that I already have. So these are the ones I already have. And I have one of these containers that I purchased earlier um, that I can put these new ones in. So yeah, looking forward to play around with these again. Now finally, the last thing of my little haul. I rarely buy things for myself these days. Most of what I order is for art or my shop, so I just wanted to treat myself a little. It was a total impulse buy. It's from Marimekko, a Finnish brand. They make a bunch of kitchen wares and fabric and all that kind of things. Just let me show you. You're in the way, kitty. Look at this, so cute! It's a little porcelain bowl that you can put some snacks or treats in. And the reason I had to buy it is because it got a fox on it. I love the style of it. And we got a little bird. So when I saw this, I just knew I needed it. And this is what it's called. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I think it means foxberry. But I couldn't stop there. I had to get this one too. A tea mug. And this one got two different fox designs on it. Actually, there is three different fox designs. We got the one on the bowl and we got the two on the mug. So cute! I love it! They had these smaller cups too, but I don't like drinking tea from small cups. I want them to be big. But when I saw that they had bigger ones, I was so happy. And I'm pretty sure that these are winter or Christmas designs, but I don't care. I could use this all year round. I'm really happy these were on sale because these aren't cheap. So <laughs> cute! The handle is a little small though. I can live with that.
So I've been working on a new freebie sticker design. I've had this for all the store updates so far. And also, I also used this one. I might actually continue using this, but I made a new one. Um, this one, which I also think turned out super cute. I don't know, just something new so that if you've been ordering before, you will get a new sticker. So yeah, I'm gonna print some of these and cut them out. I don't think I ever showed my cutting machine. This is the Silhouette Cameo 4. This one has saved me so much time and shoulder pain. Also, let me know if you have a name for it. I think that would be fun. Anyway, let's print and cut some stickers. I only had two sheets of the glossy vinyl sticker paper left, but fortunately I have ordered more, so at least I can print a few freebie stickers today. Uh, but Sometimes the paper, when being printed, it gets stuck in this thing underneath. So I like to put the paper on top to make it more smooth. Oh, they're cute! You're also cute! Right, so let's keep our fingers crossed that nothing bad will happen. Yep, looks good. No, I don't want any cat hair on the cutting board. Not that it matters, it is all messy as it is. I think I will actually get another cutting board so that I can prep one while the other one is cutting and then I can just switch them. I think that would be more efficient. Yeah, here we have some of the freebie stickers. I will have to cut out even more once um, I get more paper, but got a few at least. <sighs> so I thought I was gonna package these since I got the new organza bags in a bigger size, but I don't know guys, I think these might be a little too big. I mean, look at that, it's gonna look so silly. Mm. I don't know. It is kind of hanging in there since the keychain is on the outside. If I put it in the smaller bag, uh, the top will be poking out, so... But I didn't have any sizes in between, so... But maybe it doesn't matter. I don't have many of these uh, keychains anyway. Um, I can also show you. I actually had another idea. I just thought the organza bags would be a little easier, but another option would be to put like a little backing card behind the keychain and then have uh, the actual keychain part, the metal part being on the back side so that it doesn't rub against the acrylic. And then I would put them in these little bags. Something like this. I do actually really like this kind of packaging, so I could make the backing card a little bigger and I don't really have to print anything on them. Maybe I could print the link to my shop on the back side. What do you say? The plastic bag or the organza bag? Anyway, let's put these guys in bags. I'm so relieved that these don't have that protective plastic on them. Let's work for me. <gasps> the 
the sun. There have been a couple of really grey and rainy days, so it is so nice to see the sun again. And I was thinking that maybe I could take a walk today, but it seems quite windy, so... Friday, Friday. So I think now would be a good time for me to end this vlog because I need to edit it so I can put it out in time. What? What? And I really hope you enjoyed this video. It feels like I didn't get a lot of stuff done for some reason, even though I know I did a lot of stuff. I ordered a lot of new supplies for my shop. I did a lot of merch prep. I also did some things behind the scenes that I didn't really show you, a lot of bookkeeping, just things that aren't that fun to see. It was actually my first week back at work again, so, so maybe I needed a bit of a soft start. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Keep drawing my happy cats. Bye!